Now, this guy has a fake job. To be fair, most federal government jobs are all of them are fake as far as I'm concerned. But you get what it is. I'm saying this is a, there's fake and then there's like really fake um, guys that who just exist to. Uh, you know, instilled, be instilled, be it by the president, uh, be it by way of, of a vote. But all they really do is what they really do. It's nothing that the market would demand for. And Pete Booty Gig or whatever his name is. Pete is exactly that. He's like the secretary of trans. It's a fake job. Transportation is some shit. I think he just got off paternity leave. But he's back. And he is talking about a policy that sounds a lot like their approach to COVID. Let's look at it. Before I comment on it, let me let's watch the video it's going first. To take let's watch the video first. Another thing that it's going to take in order to change the trajectory of roadway safety in this country is a single ambitious shared goal. Okay. Now that's called monopolization. Um, if you are able to control, in this case, he's talking about the federal government. So what he's talking about is a policy, a direction, anti-market is I don't know what, where the policy and the approach has to be abide by, the, by everybody that's in the, in the country. It's 330 some million people. And I, obviously not all of them are drivers. Maybe most of them will be in a car at some point in their life. Now, this is always hilarious because, you know, one of the for you guys that aren't in on that, one of the things that are thrown out there all the time is my roads. When you talk about decentralization, like, oh, who's going to build my roads? My roads. Yeah, they say I've done plenty, plenty of videos on addressing that problem. Walter Block has like a fucking 500 page essay talking about uh, privatization of roads and highways. And yet they still talk about my roads because one, to be fair, the people that we're talking about don't read. But they always talk about fear of monopolization. And I ask of you, what the fuck is the government doing? Let's continue on. And today we commit that our goal is this zero. Our goal is zero deaths. OK. Now, you may hear that and that may fly over your head. You're like, oh, zero deaths. Uh, he's just talking at his ass. And he is. But you do understand what that means. That means that these guys get to forever and perpetually. Uh, like, it, I mean, just it's not going to stop. Push towards a goal that they will never achieve. They will never achieve zero morode to death. It's just not going to happen. Sounds like what they did with COVID. Any death is a tragedy. Any any um, case, my cases. But we, they gave you a ticker. They said, hey, look at all these positive cases and all of them are, uh, all of these deaths. And they had used that to justify virtually every single policy it is that they have had. And if you're living in the West Coast or you're living in the Upper East Coast, particularly in New York, you've seen how egregious some of those policies are. And they're always justified by this idea that basically any number that exists is too high. A country where one day nobody has to say goodbye to a loved one because of a traffic crash. Now, you should hear something like that being done by some bonehead that has even the power to even push for a policy that somewhat addresses that and that should freak you out it should it should freak you out these are the evil sons of bitches that we're talking about the control freaks i understand the scale of the challenge and the ambition represented by that goal and i understand that we may not get there during my tenure as secretary but the decision That's the point. to commit to that goal in That's a the serious point. way at He's a telling national you. level. He's telling you the game plan. The way cities and towns design roads. It changes the ways companies build cars. It changes the way people drive them. Okay, that, that's the point right there, guys. That's what I was referring to. It's like 
this is something it's the it's the patriot act you know what i mean it's like something that gets implemented oh it's just you know we're, we're, it's it's here we, there's a problem that we need to address and then it's been used years and years to uh, to address a problem that they for one never was going to ever resolve anyway but it keeps going no matter who implemented it zero deaths is not going to happen okay now that doesn't mean that there aren't avenues worth pursuing man to try to address and fix a problem that's not what i'm saying i want to be clear there but i'm also not saying that you should sell a lie like that's ever achievable all you're doing is justifying what you're gonna do and i believe he's talking about investing like five billion dollars into this He's talking about lowering the speed limits, I think, was one of them. I know that's going to piss a lot of you off. But for COVID zero, not COVID zero, excuse me, zero fatalities on my roads. Now, uh, this shouldn't even be a thing, right? Shouldn't be one guy that's even powerful enough or an administration or a branch, for that matter, that's even powerful enough to, to do that. It should be eliminated. It should be abolished. Yet here we are. Another, I guess what effectively is a bureaucrat. I mean, because he wasn't talking about talking completely out of his ass. And here we go. Rerouting taxpayer funds by the billions to address a problem. And the the, the end game is something that will never be achieved. But what that does is legitimize everything that they're going to do because they can all or justify, I think is the term that we need to use more accurately. Justify everything that they're going to do because they say, hey, remember, all deaths are tragedies and we have not yet got to zero fatalities on the roads. So you got to keep doing what it is that we want you to do. Hopefully, when we talk about what will happen within the tenure and in lifetimes, hopefully your position doesn't even exist in my lifetime. Matter of fact, let's go with the whole fucking federal government. You just listened to a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash YoungRipper59 and Odyssey.com slash at YoungRipper59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores. 